Okay, I'm gonna try to say this. I'm gonna try to say this the best way I can. So I may have to just kind of close my eyes and try to see what I saw because it was, it was a dream and everything happened in the dream so fast. But it, you know, even though it happened fast, but it developed pictures you know, like an image that I can't forget stuck in my head. You know, um. It's still, uh, it might be broken up. That's why I might like sit down and try to decipher it. And try to put it together where I can get a full understanding on what I saw and what God was actually trying to tell me. But in the dream, I saw a huge size of a man. He was laying like on a Bunch of confusion and a bunch of, of stuff that was that was trying to keep my uh, attention away from the man that I was really looking at stuff that was going on in the room. But as I got closer, it's like as though, as though God was like just trying to uh, uh, pull the veil off the man, like he was trying to show me something. And as he started pulling the veil off the man, then he started speaking to my spirit that everything. Everything that we've been taught, every, it's not, it's not, it's not what, it's what, it ain't what it is. It's something different. It don't mean what you think it means. God was just showing in different scripture, like just by the, by the minute. It was just certain things just kept, I kept recalling, I kept recalling. And he said, he kept telling me, it ain't, it ain't what, it ain't, it ain't what you thought it was. It ain't what you thought it was. It, you know, the meaning, what's the meaning behind things that you think you know. You know, go back, research, study, look, look, look. So as the veil started coming down, the man was sitting there, and this man had three eyes. There were three eyes. I saw two eyes, what a two eyes normally would be, and then there was a third eye in the center of his head, and both of them was closed at the moment. And then as God continued to pull the veil down, this man was chained, he was bound, and he was, he was, he was just, he was just, he couldn't, he was like, he, he, he wasn't mobile. He couldn't move. And then God kept bringing the, kept bringing the veil down. And the more he bring it down, the more the room was just, just like spinning and tossing and confusion and stuff was going on and everything. Then his hands started twitching. His hands started moving. And then God, out of, out of nowhere, just like he showed me. All the 66 books, all the Bible, it's, come, it's like God showed me the, the whole Bible, the whole 66 books in this one dream. Everything came together in this one dream. Who is this man? All of a sudden, this man began to wake up. Then God was saying in his spirit, Jacob is awoke. Jacob is waking up. This man started waking up and his hands opened up. And when his hands open up, God say the hands is the power of God. It's the power of God. The fivefold. Then he took me to the fivefold ministry. Uh, the, the the prophet, the teacher, the, the preacher. Everybody's coming together. You know, uh, 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 everybody's speaking. There are people speaking the truth that he got in the earth right now. That are raising their voice, just like John raised his voice in the wilderness. They're speaking. They're speaking. And then God was showing me. He said. Three, how did he put it? He said, uh, how did he put it? He said, don't, don't be fooled. Yeah, there it is. He said, don't be fooled by what you see. He said, people is talking about the, 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 the mark of the beast and all these and trying to uh, correct the numbers and, and been trying to look at the numbers and, and 666 and this and that. He said, it ain't what you think it is. He said, the 66 books in the Bible has just been fulfilled. God is saying that six is six books and man was created on the sixth day. The man that you're looking at is Jacob. The Antichrist has already been in the earth. The Antichrist is a whitewashed imitation spirit. That's who I am. No different than what he said in Revelation. 
those who say they are Jews that are not. They have formed the spirit which is from the synagogue of Satan. God is saying, the mark on the head is the third eye. It's being opened. The mark on the hand is the hand of God that you are seeing. Jacob is being woken. I seen that man breathing. God breathed his spirit inside of this man. The dry bone that was in the valley, the man that once was dead, but now you see God say is alive. Jacob is being woken. Therefore, What we see in the earth is the confusion God was showing me that was in the room. That's the confusion and causing forth the distraction because the enemy, he don't know what to do. Because Jacob, Jacob is being woke. So the enemy is distracting us through media, through through, through, through the vaccine, take a vaccine, well, man, anything. He's trying so much distraction right now in the earth because he knows Jacob is being woke. And Esau's time is really up. And before I came out of his sleep, or what you may call a slumber, God says, this man is being woken, can't be stopped. It don't matter if it's vaccine or not, because this man got a God gene. This man is God's man. And he's waking up. No different than when Samson realized who he was. When Samson realized who he was, even though the law had cut his hair off, but when Samson asked God, and when Samson realized who he was and what had happened, he gained his strength. This man that I see is waking up. The earth is trembling. Creation is, is, is awakening also with him. So, just as I woke up and came out of a dream, God allowed me to see these things in a moment. Just like that. I saw, I mean, it, it, it was just like, I saw all this just like a, but yet God just, and he showed it to me. He said the earth is, 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 is okay, so the earth is shaking and the, the shaking of the earth is the, the virus, racism, earthquakes, fires, earthquakes, fires. So Jacob is waking up. Jacob is waking up, and Jacob is the church. Jacob is the true Israel. Jacob is God's called one. Jacob is God's son that was chosen since the beginning of time. Jacob is the one to, 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 to be brought forth. Now, within the time that we actually in, the time frame that we in, like spiritually, spiritually, God can bring people into the fold during this time as well. Like I said, some will get saved in the midst of the tribulation. 
and some will not. So there is a time where people can have a change of heart. But the time is up. The time is coming to an end now because Jacob is waking up. You either no, so, it's not that Jesus comes when it's Jacob comes. Jesus is coming for his wife, which is the church. Jesus is coming for Jacob, which is his son. The church is the bride of Christ. The church is who Jesus don't marry without a spot or blemish. See, you got to catch all the symbolism, even though I'm saying one thing, but it means something else. I know, that's what I'm saying. That's why God say, what you see and what you've been seeing ain't what it really is. Let me show you what I mean. So therefore, then God began to speak. See, when we, we talk about the church, we're talking about the body of Christ. We're talking about which is the bride of Christ. And then when Christ said he comes back for a church without a spot or a blemish, meaning this church is, is, is this is gonna be this is gonna be the ones that he have called out. And it's gonna be a select few. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be, no, it ain't gonna be something massive. It's gonna be a few people within this time frame, as in what's going on, that's gonna really catch and understand from what God is saying. Now, what I'm saying is this God saying the fivefold ministry with the hand of God is in effect. There are preachers and teachers throughout the world right now. And I ain't talking about no four wall church, none of that. God didn't even mention none. It ain't not, it ain't got nothing to do. With that, a church with a steeple and a cross on top, that ain't got, that's more abomination, more God than anything. A church, God talk about people. God say, my fault, fivefold ministry, the hand of God is moving in the earth. And that hand of God is connected to Jacob. Because he also brought it back and connected them bones that was in the valley in Ezekiel. Talking about the bones of God, when the bones came together, and then he asked them, can these bones live again? Because the bones were there, dead. The bones didn't have life. God breathed on them bones. No different than when God showed me this man. God, I literally saw this man. God put breath in this man in this dream. I saw this. When the man, when God, it's though if you were to lay down right now and I put a, a sheet over you and I saw from your head. Well, it's just the way it was moving. It's though, you ever seen like the movies when we've seen the movies and they be in the bed? And then it's like a scary move, but all of a sudden the sheet from the bottom start being pulled off. Yeah. That's the way God revealed it. It's like he started pulling it back. And first I saw the head. I saw when I saw, when I say I saw the head, I ain't you got to understand something. When God the dream when God gave you a dream, he only details what he wants you to see. I didn't like I, I can't really sit and say when they I saw a man and this man looked like no. What I saw was, I know I saw a man. I saw a man because that's what he, that's what he put in my spirit. I saw a man, and then as he pulled the veil back, I saw eyes. No, I saw three eyes that were closed. No, the third eye it was revealed. It was an eye in the center of this man's head, and it was closed. All three of them was closed at the time. And as that veil went down, God was speaking these things into my spirit, showing me these things. Then all of a sudden, when he got to the hand. This man's hand opened up. And when this man's hand opened up, I saw, when I say I saw, I can't really tell you, I just saw all those gifts God gave us. They are being awakened right now in the earth. The fivefold ministry is in effect. They are preaching, prophesying, teaching, pastoring, I mean, doing everything they possibly could do during this time. And it, think about it. As all this was going on, the room was full of, it was a state of confusion. How how do I know it was confusion? It was confusion because that's what I felt in my spirit. I felt the distraction of all the stuff we've been seeing on the news, the media, all the stuff people saying, Afghanistan, get the people out. All these things were just rambling and moving in this room and something was causing this stir. And then he's saying the Antichrist has always been in the earth. It's been here. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. And therefore, it's been an image that's been whitewashed. Everything that we thought that's been before us, that's been betrayed, saying this is the church and this is Jesus and this is what it is. It's a lie. 
Jacob began to breathe. God breathed this. This man came alive. I saw this man waking up. God said, the man is Jacob. True Israel, the church, everything is being prepared. Everything's being prepared. That's powerful. That's powerful. Powerful enough that I had to really, really just speak it and get it. I had to say it because it's like it was in me. I saw it. And it's like, man, I got to say it. I got to, even though it might be gibberish right now, but somewhere God is working a formula that's going to say what you saw is true. See, the things that I'm speaking to you now, that's how I saw other things in my life that I quite, quite didn't understand. Some of the things that I saw in my life, maybe I didn't really show, share with anybody, but I saw these things and I didn't know if these things would ever come to pass or ever become true. But as I got older, these things start unfolding unto me. And I really feel like now is the time that God has showed me a dream once again. And I said, man, if I can't speak it to no one else, I got to tell somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said, Nancy, I got to get it out right now. Because it just happened. Mm -hmm. And I just saw it. Mm -hmm. You know, and I'm, I'm, I'm be wondering, like, what's going on? And with, like I said, it, it's something, your, you don't feel something taking place? Like in your spirit, you I mean even though you go on your everyday yeah. life oh, and yeah. we do but do you feel like yeah. something got to happen? Like mm -hmm. like on, on, on one minute you see all the chaos. Mm -hmm. Then the next minute it's like a sense of peace. Like, you know what? Sooner or later, this it's gonna like how can I put it? It's like oh, it's like the movie. Remember the movie we were seeing? I don't even, I can't remember. You remember the movie we were seeing and then the storm and everything? And all of a sudden it was like first tour, the storm was out there and they was doing it. And then all of a sudden it just got clear. Mm -hmm. And the guy was saying, we in the eye, we in the eye of storm yeah, right now. Yeah. You know, this and that, but we only got so many minutes, um, or whatever, but then we're going to pass and we'll be right out of yeah. it. And then how everything was just so calm, like, um, and they was able to make adjustments and stuff like that. Yeah. And then the storm came back. And then it was just like, man, like, you know, so what I'm trying to say is that's the way I've been feeling like in my spirit, even though I know something is going on, like so much distraction in the world right now. People are confused right now. People don't know what to do. And that, that, oh man, that spirit that is like, oh man, that got to be something that this is not of God. Like we see things, we be like, no, man, this and that's what it is. That's the Antichrist spirit. It just, it, it, it just trying to get you to believe one thing and, and people saying this and, and everything. It's like, how in the world can you truly go against the truth? Like, wh why is you saying this is true when you know it's a lie? How can you believe that? Like, how, some of the things people are doing, you're sitting there saying, I can't believe we done got to the point that people actually believe in this. They actually believe in this, Lord. Like, oh my God. Like, everything is like, it kind of like shocks you, but it's like God is saying, yeah, that's what, that's what we at right now. People are that deceived, like, oh man, like, golly. But at the same time, deep down in your spirit, if you got God and you know God, there's a sense of peace, like, there's a sense of peace that's there. You really do, I feel like it's coming, like, like, no different than they say the sea, the sea was raging and Jesus and the storm and all this and that and the disciples was in the boat and all of a sudden everything just cleared up and they looked and they saw Jesus just out walking mm -hmm. on that water. Like Jesus is the only thing that can that can really that can really mm -hmm. save you through what's going on. And a lot of people are going, a lot of people are going to come to know him. And there's a lot of people that they're going to perish. They, they're going to perish. So my thing is, is that we continue to trust, strengthen our faith daily, and, and just get closer, 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 closer than we ever have been to God. Like, you know, during these times, because, you know, 
when God say there's a God gene, when God put a God gene, if you got a God gene inside of you, can't nothing hurt you. You know, can't nothing hurt you because God really got you. And that's the, and I really believe that's the type of that's the type of hands really God really you know really got on us right now. If we just continue to trust and believe in Him, and I'm not talking about you know doing anything. I'm talking about no. You you realize the times you're in, your reality, of what you see and what you know, and you and you use you got to use all everything, all your wisdom and knowledge that God has given you. You got to use it. You can't be foolish in your doings right now. You got to use wisdom. Now's the time for wisdom. You know, when people are doing foolish talk or whatever, come on, man. If it's raining outside and you don't put a rain jacket on, you're going to get wet. Use wisdom. Put a jacket on. Put a mask on. Use wisdom. It looked like this and this and that, and then all that politics got in anything and everything. And man say this, man, look at him. You better use wisdom. What is wisdom telling you to do right now? Because whatever wisdom telling you to do, you need to do it. Because she's been here long, longer than we have. And I say she because yes, wisdom is a feminine spirit that's there to embrace you and to love you. That's wisdom. Listen to her. But she will guide you into safety. She's been here since the beginning of time. Wisdom is a friend. If you lie her to be. And the church say, Amen. Amen. So be it.